Hey guys, a new microphone arrived today. A new microphone? Why would you need a new microphone? I mean, it's 2019. By now, it's pretty established uh, which microphone you're gonna use for what. You walk into a studio and I'm like, oh, okay, well, if I'm gonna put a kick drum mic, it's gonna be this. Uh, vocal mic, maybe this. Uh, guitar mic, it's certainly gonna be one of a, a handful. Uh, even a podcasting mic, it's gonna be probably one of three or four, you know? But the guys at Aston defy those standards. And they came up with a new mic. That seems kind of awesome. Uh, so let's crack this sucker open. Start to investigate. Try not to kill myself with this sharp, sharp blade. So I'll be on camera though. Chopping my arm. my fingers work just for now. The Aston Stealth. All right, got a sticker, a sweet little message. Owner's handbook. Look at the size of this owner's handbook for a microphone. Usually it's like plug in point. Oh, here it is. Look at this. It's cool. Oh, that's big. Yeah, it is beefy. Something's under here. Is that cufflinks? Seriously? And a mic stand. That's an interesting little clipperoo. The Aston Stealth. Look at that. That's quite lovely. Look at the design on this. This is welcome to the future. Look at the size of that. Oh, it's beefy. Hang on, let me give you a sense of the size here. Look at this. That's a big boy. Wowzers. It's an end address mic, so you go straight to the source just like that, as opposed to on the side end. Uh, it is a dynamic mic, uh, like a 57 or a 58, as opposed to like a U47. Um, you know, dynamic mic. If you take a look, it has a built-in windscreen there. There's an internal shock mount, so you don't have to have one of those bouncy spring shock mounty things uh, that's happening inside. It's an active microphone. So there's a built-in preamp inside uh, the microphone, uh, and it will activate when you have phantom power from your preamp to, uh, to power this. Uh, if you don't, have phantom power, that's okay, it still works passively. There are four settings uh, right here. Four settings. Uh, voice one, voice two, guitar, on anything from Spanish guitar through ruckus guitar cabs. So that's a tall order. Um, you know, for me, miking acoustic guitars and electric guitars, I use very different mics. So I'm very curious to see how this will hold up. And then D is dark. A vintage sound reminiscent of classic ribbon mics. Uh, I'm also a fan of classic ribbon mics. So, awesome. This is how the stealth mic connects to the mic stand. It's actually really simple. There's one little slot on the back and pop, click, and you're good to go. So I've got it right flush up against the grill and it is right on the edge uh, between the the two cones. I haven't heard this, but we will see where it's going to go.
right off the bat, uh, it sounds really full. In a lot of ways, traditional miking, you would need to have two mics uh, up and blending, whereas I'm getting all of that sort of cabinet resonance uh, from the bottom end, but the mid-range still sounds full. And it has a clear top, and I don't have any EQ engaged uh, on the preamp. I'm pretty happy right off the bat. That's a 412. Uh, I'll try a di couple different sounds, and then I'll switch over to uh, a different amp. All right, Les Paul into uh, BE100, the BE side, a little heavier here. My typical mic setup is a dynamic mic and a ribbon mic. Uh, every time I do that, I have to be really worried about how much low end I'm pumping through the cabinet. So I have never been able to get my bass knob on the BE up to 10 because the ribbon mic will flub out. I certainly couldn't do any like, uh, because the ribbon will just go boom, 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 boom. So I have to really pull that back. I feel like with the stealth, I, it just sits there like an open window, uh, letting sound through, and I could dial in whatever I want on the amp. I mean, that's that's what you're looking for, right? You want to be able to capture your amp easily. how tight it stays. I feel like the amp got modded. That's awesome. Just awesome. I've got a Marshall Silver Jubilee. I've got a 412 speaker cab in the other room with two mics, uh, one on each speaker, the Aston Stealth, SM57 on the other. I'm going to track some stuff and I'll give you a little AB. I haven't done this yet, so I got some high hopes uh, that the Aston will sound pretty killing. <laughs> super impressed. I love this mic. To me it has a sort of a record-ish sounding quality to it, but it has a little more bottom end, a little a little more extension on the uh, either side, which uh, means no EQ uh, later for me. So I really, really like that. Everything I put it up on sounded really good. And like I said before, it just uh, handles bottom end spectacularly well. Uh, especially in a guitar cab setting. Um, 
I found out later uh, through the test that the uh, V1 setting is has a really nice open sound and probably would sound a little better on acoustic guitar than the the guitar setting. Uh, that is a strummy guitar. If you're going for a nylon, maybe you want that um, the uh, more mid-focused thing. But uh, I mean, there's lots of options on the mic. It sounds fantastic. It looks like it's built like a tank. It feels great. So. Um, um, so yeah, it's going up on my cabs. Thanks for watching.